नैष्कर्म सिद्धि थर्ड चैप्टर पेज 94 फोर्थ वर्स इंट्रोडक्शन फर्स्ट लाइन अस्मिन् सूत्र उपन्यस्ते कश्चित् चोदयति योयम् वाक्यार्थ प्रतिपत्तो पूर्वाध्यायेन अन्वय व्यतिरेक लक्षणो न्यायः सर्वकर्म सन्यास पूर्वकः अभितः किमयम् विधि परिप्रापितः किम् वा स्वरसत एवात्र पुमान प्रवर्तत इति In this third chapter, where Sureshwara Acharya is discussing about Mahavakya from Shandogya Upanishad Tattvamasi. How to do this analysis or enquiry into Mahavakya? He gave three types of relations Tatu Tvam Asi Tatpadartha and Svampadartha. What is the relation? What is the Sambandha between them? We saw three types of Sambandha Samanadhikaranya Sambandha Vishesha Visheshana Visheshya Visheshana Sambandha and Lakshya Lakshana Sambandha. To know the meaning of the Pada, the word, we have to take the Samanadhikaranya Sambandha. Visheshya Visheshana between the Padartha, the meaning of the words. And Lakshya Lakshana Sambandha is seen with regard to the Lakshya Lakshyartha. Lakshyartha Sambandha, Padartha Lakshyartha Sambandha. So, Pada 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 and Padartha and Lakshyartha. Three types of relations we have to see. For that only the elaboration is going to come and later the discussion came small diversion like Jnani Vidhihi Astiva Nava Jnana Yoga is the sadhanam is that a Vidhi a Shastric injunction or not that means Moksha Sikh we take Jnana Yoga Sadhanam, is there a Vidhin? For that we saw in the last class, Sadhanas are allied Sadhanas. And main Prapti is Moksha, Jnana Prapti. With regard to Jnanam, there is no question of Vidhi. Karma, regard to those actions only vidhi can happen. Kartra Tantra Tvat Karmani Vidhi Vartate. Vastu Tantra Tvat Jnani Vidhi Nasti. Because moksha is not a vastu, we get prapti, Utpatti, Samskara, Vikara are not there with regard to Atma. In Karma alone, Prapti means reaching to one place 
getting something is possible by doing action prapti utpatti production also can be possible only through karma gnanam never produce anything gnana indriyas show that things as they are there is no production there is no reaching even samskara also not there there is no refinement you get gnanam of anything there is no question of refinement samskara roopa karma doesn't exist in gnanam in knowledge with regard to knowledge samskara roopa karma samskara means refinement purification purification refinement is a type of karma similarly vikara fourth one modification modification is also not possible with regard to atma atma is nirvikaraha atma is nirvikaraha nirvikaratvat vikara rahitatvat atma doesn't come under any of these four prapti utpatti vikara and samskara therefore atma gnanam is such an entity where there is no any sort of action involved vastu tantratvat it depends upon the vastu the atma chaitanyam up to here we saw in the last class then i introduced the fourth chapter fourth verse introduction where one puro pakshi like a person comes and question vidhi asti va nava with regard to gnana yoga sanyasa ashrama is required for gnanam in this regard sadhana gnana yoga sadhane vidhi asti va nava if vidhi is there what are the advantages vidhi is not there what are the disadvantages for that i said uh, formally formal and informal for example if anything you take up with commitment with vow vow like oath promise that is called commitment nischaya first you take nischayam i want to do this i want to get it atma swarupa gnanam nischayam then you take sankalpa let me work for this then you do abhyasa practice of that uh, means whatever you have to do f- to get gnana yogyata nischaya abhyasa nischaya sankalpa abhyasa all these are involved therefore formal means you have to take certain disciplines package of disciplines like in marriage i said one example marriage there are lot of rituals formal marriage there are lot of rituals saptapadi uh, is there thali tying that uh, yellow thread and registration all these are a formal paddhati method of entering into agni khotram the walk seven uh, steps all these are formal commitment commitment uh, or it's not like contract uh, contract like uh, but uh, we don't use that word committed to throughout life they want to stay together after marriage this is called commitment formally entering into the household life non formally means uh, not uh, getting into all these rituals uh, just changing the garland and that is uh, there is no much commitment hmm? changing the garland there are no rituals at all there is no commitment at all there is no any type of vows or oath etc are not there similarly in any type of uh, 
um, worldly, if you do formally, there is a commitment. House also, you can buy a house, registration will be there and that house will be on your name. You are committed to that house and you have to take care of that house and you have to maintain it. Same house if it is not yours, it is not formally registered, it is just you are staying, there is no much commitment. So there are advantages and disadvantages in formal commitment and non-formal casual entry into any, um, any lifestyle. So our Vedas uh, uh, gives four uh, divisions of ashramas, human life, very very important. Brahmachari ashrama, Grihastha ashrama, Vanaprastha ashrama and Sanyasa ashrama. Brahmacharya ashrama is, uh, the main aim of Brahmacharya ashrama is um, Adhyayanam. One has to study there in Brahmacharya ashrama, acquiring lot of knowledge. Dharma Jnanam, Brahma Jnanam. After getting that, uh, doing the study of scriptures, one can enter into Grihastha ashrama if he or she wants. Grihastha ashrama aim is karma yoga. Karma yoga is the aim of Grihastha ashrama. Then one same person after some few decades or two decades he can come to Vanaprastha ashrama. Upasana is the aim of Vanaprastha ashrama. Another package of disciplines. Adhyayanam is one discipline in Brahmachari Ashrama. And Karma Yoga, Panchamaha Yajna's performance is another level of package of disciplines for Grihastha Ashrama. Similarly, Upasana Yoga is another level of package of disciplines, Japa, Dhyanam, etc. For Vanaprastha Ashrama. Then finally, Sanyasa Ashrama is, the Jnana Yoga is the aim of Sanyasa Ashrama. So this is the beautiful design given by our Shastra. This division is done by our Shastra for human uh, growth. A man can, person can become a spiritual well-being sake, person can recognize the divinity within. That is the purpose of this ashrama division. Since uh, this knowledge people are lacking, four purusharthas, dharma, artha, kama, in four ashramas, one has to fulfill this uh, design is not there, life is meaningless. Life will become boredom, miserable and struggle. If you understand this, wonderful. If you don't understand, all the best, Shastra says, what to do. If people are not ready to understand this uh, discipline package is starting from the mother's womb itself. I spoke about uh, Shodasha, Samskaras from Garbhadhanam onwards, Garbhadhanam, uh, Pumsavanam, there in the three post prenatal samskaras, later all of them are postnatal samskaras like Namakaranam, Annaprasana, so many are there and Upanayanam, main one of the main samskara, then Vivaha, all these samskaras meant for what? For human maturity, mental maturity. Maturity for what? Maturity to go towards a spiritual uh, journey, pursuit. By which spiritual pursuit person can enjoy one's life in full 
um, measure and happily one can live. All these samskaras are meant for that. But uh, unfortunately, the samskaras are also becoming more insignificant for modern days. Uh, one or two are there, nam ke vasti. Hmm? Uh, some people look conduct upanayanam and marriage and um, other samskaras, namakaranam, annaprasana and all these are only four or five are there. But they are also not uh, very, um, very significantly performed by the people nowadays. What I want to say is this uh, type of uh, um, you know, samskaras, rituals, what for they are all, they are all meant for finally moksha. That keeping that uh, from garbhadanam they start. What is sadhana, you see? Hmm? Samskara, purification of that child before birth itself. Lot of rituals, lot of mantras, they are all involved. But some people perform, but they do not know why they are doing, what for they are doing. If you know their significance and perform, it is wonderful. It is meaningful also, it is purposeful. Then only you can keep that practices in prachara further, further, future generations later. Otherwise they also will disappear after some time. If you do not know why we are doing all this, how long one can do blindly? For a length of time, the blind practices won't continue. Therefore, let us not forget the importance of these samskaras and how they are important in one's life. Ashrama division also meant for what? Samskaras are all meant for what? This we have to remember and keep practicing them, those for next generations also. So now the Pura Pakshi is asking um, Asmin Sutra Upanyaste. Look into the verse. In this uh, shloka, what Sutra Bhuta shloka, third verse, Asmin. Sutra Bhute Abhihitaha. Somebody questions about I am Nayaha Abhihitaha. You have to see in the first line middle, Yoyam is there. That you take I am. This. Then second line middle, Nyayaha is there. Nyayaha means teaching. Abhihitaha. This teaching has been taught. What teaching has been taught? Now he is going to explain the Pura Pakshi here. Somebody. How do we know Pura Pakshi is in? in this above said sloka, after hearing that third sloka, I have got a question. Kaschit Chodayati. One person asks a question. Kaschit and somebody. Chodayati. Raise a question. What is that question? For moksha, jnana yoga is the sadhana. In that jnana yoga, tattva masi mahavakya, you have to know that samana adhikaranya sammandhaha, visheshana visheshya sammandhaha and lakshya lakshana sammandhaha you are telling. For that one has to come to uh, sannyasa ashrama. Sanyasa ashrama means the internal sanyasa for jnanam. Ashrama sanyasa has a vividisha sanyasa, vidvat sanyasa, like that kaschit chodayati. This, um, that means a person who is committed to Vedanta study, thar moksha, he has to uh, eliminate anatma, Ishvara, Myself and the world. I am Dasaha, Ishvara, e Swami, world, from that world I have to be saved. This type of thinking is um, 
triangular format paramarthananda swami this language he calls it as triangular format then uh, if you after coming to vedanta also one uh, is like a dasa bhava i am a dasa i am a miserable jeeva that bhava as long as it is there vedanta doesn't work that dasa bhava has to be dropped binary format one has to come atma anatma binary format ishvara also included in anatma temporarily given for our upasana really speaking ishvara's real nature is also atma therefore atma and anatma maya ar mula vidya atma anatma nama roopa prapancha anatma brahma chaitanyam is atma so binary format so anatma one has to body mind sense organs family possessions relations all these one has to renounce mentally renounce in the sense abhimana abhimana tyaga raga dvesha tyaga towards anatma aversion and attachment towards anatma the more i detach myself from anatma mentally intellectually understanding anatma is mithya anatma is uh, bar- borrowingly existing with borrowed existence it is uh, surviving i am the atma this is called binary format so kaschit chodayati is binary format is important compulsory or not compulsory binary format this type of thinking is it required really speaking why can't i have ishwara in my life why can't i accept this world and why can't i accept myself in the triangular format why can't i continue with my prayers bhagavane kapat pan i can't i continue after coming to vedanta also why can't i study shastra um, casually or i have to do commit with commitment i have to study that's why chodayate with regard to that importance or compulsory uh vidhi is required commitment to formally we have to enter into sanyasa ashrama or casually we can study vakyartha pratipatto for the knowledge pratipatti means knowledge for the sake of this knowledge to get this knowledge vakyartha means that mahavakya gnanam for mahavakya gnanam purva adhyayen in the previous chapter we have seen that anvaya vyatireka lakshano nyaya anvaya vyatireka is what anatma i have to give up atma i have to own up this body mind complex anatma whatever is happening i have no total control over it i need not give too much importance to this body mind complex only for survival how much i have to give importance let me give they cannot afflict me they cannot touch me they cannot uh, uh, do anything for me body mind anatma they belong to lower order of reality i am the atma higher order of reality how can be i am afflicted by this body mind complex it is mithya kartrutvam is mithya bhoktrutvam is mithya how can i the sakshi chaitanyam uh, affected by this uh, body mind complex anatma this uh, type of uh, thinking this type of uh, um, cognition cognitive change if i bring this is called anvaya 
vitreka. So as long as I give existence and sentiency to this body, it can exist. The whole world also exists when I give existence. So no Nama Rupa has got its own existence or sentiency. No species is, only it is a matter, therefore doesn't matter. This is called Anvaya Vitreka. It's Sattve Yat Sattvam. Sat Chit Sattve Eva Nama Rupa will exist. Nama Rupa is also a Mithya, only an aberration. It is Maya. How can I understand this Anvaya Vitreka Lakshanaha? This is the method of understanding Vakyartha. So, then what he has to do? He or she has to do Sarva Karma Sanyasa Purvakaha. Sarva Karma Sanyasa, all port reduction, possessions, any student who is interested in moksha, give up attachment towards possessions. Give up, uh, reduce or give up obligations, relations with the people, family, members, so many. As when you are studying Shastra especially, when you are studying Shastra, you have to be um, more withdraw from the world by studying. Because you won't get a time, quality time, quality mind when you involve in worldly activities while you are sincerely studying you have to committed to be committed for many years for few years you have to be committed for getting knowledge after getting knowledge question is run one expression no problem you can be in any activity nothing can disturb you but while studying one has to be committed then only it is possible. If you are committed to that, you will uh, do's and don'ts will be there. Rules and regulations will be there. In Jnana Yoga also, in allied sadhanas, there are do's and don'ts. You have to follow certain rules and regulations to accomplish your goal, Moksha Purushatha. Without that, uh, commitment is not there. Casually you are studying, it goes only casually. It is not a very, very significant one's life, suppose. Then there is no phalam at all. Therefore, he says, Sarva Karma Sanyasa Purvaka. Obligations, possessions, obligations, relations, transaction. Reduce transaction when you are committed to study you. Especially Sanyasa Ashrama he is talking about here. Sanyasa Ashravakarma Sanyasa is possible only for Sanyasi. Fourth chapter title Bhagavad Gita. Sarva uh, Karma Sanyasa Yogaha. Jnanena Karma Sanyasa. Sarva Karma Sanyasa. A yes, Sanyasi alone can give up all karmas. Sanyasi need not do any puja Abhishekams, etc. Actually speaking, Sarva Karma Sanyasa means Sanyasi is not supposed to do any puja. That is banned for Sanyasi. But some Pithadipatis they perform because they belong to a Pitham. They have certain type of rules they perform. Actually, Sanyasi is not supposed to do anything. Sarva karma sannyasa means a sannyasi who has taken ashram sannyasa. No other work other than studying bhashyam. Bhashyam study, uh, learning, 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 only bhashyam, parayana. No other work to be taken after taking sannyasa. After taking sannyasa, one has to study for a length of time. After completing time, if you want to do any activities, a renovation of temples, establishing schools, colleges, ashramas, you can do. But after taking sannyasa, 
without studying shastra if anybody is doing any social activities uh, it is uh, that person is really hmm, um, ba- banished from that uh, ashrama like uh, gnanadev i heard that in pune uh, that gnanadev is there somebody they take to sanyasa and come to grihastha ashrama later that is uh, not people didn't accept him they um, banished him from that place also after taking sanyasa how one can come to grihastha ashrama it is maha prityavaya papam will come once you take that's what he is going to tell later so sanyasa ashrama is sarva karma sanyasa after doing renouncing the formally taking sanyasa ashrama uh, removing the upanayana uh, thread then tuft and uh, formally by rituals he comes to sanyasa ashrama he should not think about any worldly matters only shastra study mahavakya bhashyam so that is karva karma sanyasa purvaka abhihitaha within inverted commas from um, asmin purva um, asmin sutra onwards so we take inverted commas so inverted commas close abhihitaha means start kimayam vidhi paripravitaha kimva swarasataha eva atra this uh, sarva karma sanyasa for jnana yoga sadhana for moksha this is uh, i am this uh, type of sadhana kim i am uh, which has been taught anvaya vitreka method and vakyartha pratipatta uh, vidhi paripravitaha is it given by shastra as a vidhi vidhi paripravitaha taking a oath vidhi means oath um, commitment nischaya sankalpa vidhi paripravitaha or uh, athava kim va or swarasataha swarasataha rasataha means here as he wish or she wish swarasataha uh, without any oath swarasataha means by just his own uh, interest his own interest without entering into any sort of uh, ru- formal uh, rituals without uh, any formal ritual suppose he takes uh, this education what uh, scriptural studies um, vakyartha gnanam suppose he counts uh, just uh, um because of his interest without taking to sanyasa or without um, following any um, abhyasa nichaya is not there sankalpa is not there or uh, abhyasa is, that much is not committed suppose casually studying is it so so anushthane ananushthane um there is a um, sadhani um, vidhi astiva nastiva that is the idea he is uh, raising here once we say that swarasataha voluntary artha correct meaning is voluntarily rasaha means ichha just by desire some people many people like ah just by desire i love to study shastra i am interested in studying shastra but they are not real mumukshus many people just curiosity sake what is there let us study hmm? let us uh, have look into the book what is said in that that is called uh, swarasataha <laughs> without any uh, commitment uh, without renouncing uh, possessions uh, relations uh, transactions uh, just uh, for uh, his fulfilling his desire swarasataha voluntarily sanyasa is compulsory or binary format <laughs> vidhi paripravitah or um, voluntarily swarasatah eva atra puman pravartate the person 
he or she a person come to this spiritual life puman pravartate iti iti chodayati in this manner the question is asked the question is asked what is the essence of this whole thing in ee sanyasa ashrama is compulsory or not is grihastha ashrama is also okay or sanyasa is compulsory for this binary format what is binary format i am aham brahmasmi i am satyam jagat is mithya nothing can disturb me this is binary format that means no leaning upon ishvara no more support from ishvara i am totally uh, like what you can uh, leaning upon myself god dependence to self dependence so this self dependence how far this person can survive without leaning upon family members wife or husband or children property money all these are not there is it possible for a person to survive if sanyasa one can take how difficult it is there are advantages and disadvantages what are the advantages are there hmm? then i will tell you later so okay up to here we saw in the last class kinchatah shrunu yad yatma vastu sakshat karanay vidhi paripraapito yam nyayah tad avashyakam atma vastu sakshat karanay vyavrutta shubha 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 karma karmarashi he ekagramana anvaya vetrekabhyam yathokta abhyas atma darshanam karoti now he says kinchatah this is sureshwaracharya's question kinchatah ye sureshwara purapaksha is asking sureshwaracharya ye sureshwaracharya if you ask kinchatah so what uh, whether that person is in grihastha or sanyasi uh, to be in binary format uh, is it compulsory or it is voluntarily what is there so what we are so much bother about this sanyasa ashrama uh, why are you so particular about vidhi do's and don'ts for this uh, spiritual pursuit kinch atah atah kim atah kinch atah how you split atah kim kinch atah what is matter whether gnana yogi is practiced gnana yoga is practiced by grihastha or sanyasi so what is there hmm? why you are so particular kinch atah oh oh sureshwaracharya kinch atah so what if you ask shrunu may you listen who say shrunu purapakshi purapakshi himself clarify why i am asking for this Uh, vidhi do's and don'ts for gnana yogi why i am asking i will tell you this uh, is asked by purva pakshi uh, to sureshwar acharya so purva pakshi uh, kinchataha asked by sureshwar acharya shrunu me you listen to me purva pakshi says to sureshwar acharya why this is so important i will tell you what benefit you are going to get you are asking me i will tell you pura pakshi sureshwar acharya asking what benefit you are going to get whether grihastha or sanyasi so what he sureshwar acharya this is the reason i will tell you sakshatkaraha atma sakshatkaraha sakshatkara means here dropping the ahankara mamakara is called sakshatkara <laughs> our definition of uh, uh, sakshatkara is different people think sakshatkara means seeing atman 
ఆర్ సీయింగ్ భగవాన్ సాక్షాత్కార సాక్షాత్కార మీన్స్ అపరోక్ష జ్ఞానం అపరోక్ష జ్ఞానం మీన్స్ అహంకార మమకార త్యాగ టోటల్లీ కంప్లీట్లీ లుక్ ఇన్ టు ద వర్డ్స్ శృణు పూర్వపక్షి సేస్ మే యూ లిజన్ వాట్ పూర్వపక్షి ఇస్ యాన్సరింగ్ ఫర్దర్ ఏది ఆత్మవస్తు సాక్షాత్కరణాయ ఏది ఇఫ్ ద పర్సన్ డిజైర్ టు నో ది ఆత్మవస్తు బ్రహ్మన్ ఆత్మన్ మీన్స్ బ్రహ్మన్ బ్రహ్మజ్ఞానార్థం సాక్షాత్కారణాయ సాక్షాత్కారణం అంటే దట్ మీన్స్ నాట్ హ్యావింగ్ ఎనీ దేహాభిమాన మన అభిమాన అండ్ పుత్ర పౌత్ర విత్త ఎక్సెట్రా సో నో అటాచ్మెంట్ నో రాగ ఆర్ ద్వేష టువర్డ్స్ ఎనీ పర్సన్ ఆర్ ఎనీథింగ్ ఈవెన్ వన్ సోన్ టువర్డ్స్ వన్ సోన్ బాడీ వన్ సోన్ ఫ్యూచర్ ఆల్ దీస్ ఆర్ నాట్ దేర్ దట్ ఈస్ రియల్ సాక్షాత్కార్ దట్ ఈస్ రియల్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ దట్ ఈస్ రియల్ జ్ఞానం డిఫికల్ట్ ఓన్లీ బట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ఇంపాసిబుల్ ఈవెన్ దో ఇట్ ఈస్ డిఫికల్ట్ దట్ ఈస్ వన్ హ్యాస్ టు అకాంప్లిష్ వన్స్ లైఫ్ ఇఫ్ యూ సే డిఫికల్ట్ ఆల్ ద బెస్ట్ నెక్స్ట్ బర్త్ నో 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 ఐ వాంట్ టు గెట్ ఇన్ దిస్ లైఫ్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ స్ట్రాంగ్ కశ్చిత్ ధీర ప్రత్యేకాత్మాన ఐక్షత్ ఉపనిషత్ సేస్ పరీక్ష లోకాన్ కర్మచితాన్ బ్రాహ్మణో నిర్వేద మాయా నిర్వేదం వైరాగ్యం ఈజ్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ హ్యావింగ్ సీన్ ద ప్రాస్ అండ్ కాన్స్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ యూనివర్స్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ అర్థం అనర్థం భావ అనిత్యం వాట్ ఈస్ దిస్ కస్వం కోహం కుత ఆయాత కామే జనని కోమే తాత శంకరాచార్య సెట్ ఇన్ భజగోవిందం he has uh, um, to remember this atma i am anatma is mithya that is called real sakshatkar sakshatkaranaya for the sake of this binary format <laughs> okay vidhi paripraapitah i am vidhi paripraapitah means taken to this vidhi commitment nischaya sankalpa i am going to renounce everything for the sake of atma nishtha i am not going to emotionally lean upon any member of the family everyone comes alone and leave the earth also alone nobody is born together die together okay yeah yaar ki yaar na who is related to whom everyone alone to alone all alone in this pursuit you require lot of courage uh, people mind uh, people's mind is always uh, leaning mentality depending upon something or other that's why you see people cannot sit in the middle of the hall center everybody takes the support of the wall even youngsters also ask them to sit in the middle without support of wall or without the support of chair or sofa they cannot physically also they cannot mentally also hmm? always we want some support back support how many people can sit straight without support hmm? very very difficult because it is so cozy comfortable when you lean upon sofa or chair some back rest <laughs> back rest like that physical body needs back rest mind also needs back rest ah enakku ani my brother my sister my father my mother my wife and now they are they are so comfortable secure we feel really speaking that is the wrong thinking no can give body can give you security in this world other than yourself you are ever secure atma so enude um, my shoulders are my enude thole enak thunai anna i stand on my own legs and madri i am i am independent that much courage is required 
సాక్షాత్కరణాయ విధి పరిప్రాపితే when the vidhi is there commitment is there towards the sanyasa renunciation and um, taking to such a lifestyle giving up everything is not so easy hmm? nyaya ha this method whatever is given tad avashyakam avashyakam atma vastu sakshat karanaya that is avashyakam it is very very important అభ్యాస బైనరీ ఫార్మేట్ అభ్యాస ఈజ్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ తద్ ఆవశ్యకం తద్ మీన్స్ బైనరీ ఫార్మేట్ బైనరీ ఫార్మేట్ ఐ నెవర్ లీన్ అపాన్ ఎనీ పర్సన్ ఇన్ ద వరల్డ్ ఫర్ మై పీస్ హ్యాపీనెస్ సెక్యూరిటీ దట్ ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ హియర్ తద్ that means binary format atma anatma that's all anatma is mithya i am atma you require a tremendous courage to have this conviction because on whatever you lean upon for your security it itself is not secure either people or things or possessions anything in the world therefore how can i rely upon i the atma cannot rely upon anatma which is mithya false how can i rely upon a false entity how long can i be secure can i be happy can i be peaceful never that is why tad avashyakam means binary format avashyakam compulsory tad avashyakam for what purpose atma vastu sakshat karanaya ఆత్మ వస్తు అబౌ లైన్ సాక్షాత్కరణాయ హీ సైడ్ వాట్ సాక్షాత్కరణాయ హీ గివ్స్ హియర్ శాస్త్ర విధి ఈజ్ రిక్వైర్డ్ ఫర్ ఆత్మ వస్తు సాక్షాత్కరణాయ బైనరీ ఫార్మేట్ ఈజ్ ఇంటెండెడ్ సాక్షాత్కరణాయ ఆత్మ వస్తు ఆత్మ వస్తు మీన్స్ వాట్ ఇట్ ఇస్ నాట్ ఏ వస్తు లైక్ ఎనీ అదర్ వసతి ఇది వస్తు that which exist that alone exist really speaking atma alone is there nothing else is there in the world really everything is only an appearance sa atma sakshat karanaya vyavritta shubha shubha karma rashihe very important this person when he comes to sanyasa ashrama for the sake of uh, scriptural study which is scriptural study he does uh, uh, vakyartha vichara in vakyartha vichara through that he recognize that aham brahmasmi for that purpose when he come to this sakshat karanaya atma gnanartham he has uh, given up what are all dropped na shubha ashubha karma rashihe punya papa karma shubha karma punya karma and papa karma ashubha karma punya papa karma rashihe vyavritta means free from vyavritta free from punya karma and papa karma if you have taken sanyasa ashrama not studying shastra means pratyavaya papam comes if you don't take suppose without upanayanam if you chant gayatri mantra you will not get adrishta phalam what are the advantages of formal entry uh, with oath with commitment with rituals if you are committed to san- through sanyasa ashrama if you take uh, even people many people chant gayatri will they get uh, adrishta phalam na సమ్ ఫలం దే విల్ గెట్ దృష్ట ఫలం మంత్రాస చాంటింగ్ అండ్ సో మెనీ అదర్ పూజ వన్స్ దే డూ లాట్ ఆఫ్ థింగ్స్ బట్ ఇట్ వోంట్ గివ్ అదృష్ట ఫలం పుణ్య ఫలం పుణ్యం కమ్స్ ఓన్లీ బై ఫార్మల్ ఎంట్రీ బై టేకింగ్ ఉపన యజ్ఞోపవీతం ఉపనయన ధారణ యజ్ఞోపవీత ధారణ త్రూ ఉపనయనం వన్స్ ఏ పర్సన్ చాంట్ మంత్ర స్వేద మంత్ర సార్ ఎఫెక్టివ్ 
Gayatri gives tremendous adrishta phalam. Drishta phalam, people do lot of chanting, lot of puja, lot of things, but without commitment, without formal entry. Like that, there is no, even marriage also you see when you do all this saptapati, tali, tying and all, so many other mantras, there is commitment, there is adrishta phalam. Without all these things, if you chose from simply garland changing and signing in the registrar office, marriage over and all, you won't get adrishta phalam. Once you go through the rituals, paddhati, Methodically, you get adrishta phalam. That is the advantage of a formal entry. Formal entry. In casual entry, there is no adrishta phalam. Only some drishta phalam will be there. You will chant mantras and all, gayatri and all. It won't give much uh, benefit. Here he says, subha shubha karma rashe. Suppose he, what are the disadvantages? After taking a oath uh, um, or vow, some sankalpa, vratam, like uh, anything you have taken a oath, uh, sannyas ashrama diksha, suppose taking and not performing all that sannyasi duties, studying shastra, not doing, what comes in pratyavaya papa will come. Hmm. Pratyavaya papam, for not doing because of lapse of that uh, not doing. Sanyasa um, Ashrama Vidhi, not performing. Shubha Ashubha Karma Rashehe. From that he will be free if he has come to formal entry with commitment. Ashrama Diksha he has taken, suppose. Ekagramanaha with Ekagrata concentration with commitment. Anvaya Vitreka Abhyam, he comes to binary format, Anvaya Vitreka. Binary format, following Shastra Vidhi and committed to that lifestyle, renounced Raga, Dvesha, Hankara, Mamakara, all those things he has given up. Therefore, free from all Punya Papa. That is the Adrishta Phala. <laughs> Yathokta. Uh, Yathokta Abhyam uh, Abhya, Atma Darshanam Yath, as, as just said above, Yathokta means uh, Samana Adhikaranya Sambandha, Laksha Lakshana Sambandha and Visesha Visheshna Sambandha uh, Yathokta Abhyam Atma Darshanam He attains Atma Darshanam means not seeing understanding atma darshan means binary format i am satyam jagat mithya that jagat anatma anatma appearing also only seeming appearance it cannot be real it doesn't exist does spot exist never house exist never only bricks are there cement is there House uh, object is not there, really speaking. Like this, you inquire into every object, that object is not there. Sari, you say. Sari, very sari. Only uh, Otaprotam, thread is Otaprotam, cross and uh, um, this uh, woof and warf, like that, cloth is there. There is no sari. Shirt, there is no shirt. Vastu. Only thread is there. Like that you inquire into every object that name what you are talk, giving, it is not there really. You do that is a big homework. If you will do that, it is wonderful. I like that. <laughs> Atma Darshanam Karoti. He understands I am Satyam. Atma Darshan Karoti. No, don't think that he will see Atma. Okay. Understanding that there is nothing else is required other than understanding I am alone is Satyam. I, the Atma Sakshi Chaitanyam is Satyam. Hmm? Sarvam Mithya. Then, Apari Samapya Atma Darshanam Tataha Prachavamanaham Arudha Patito Bhavati. 
यदि पुनः यदृच्छयादृच्छातः प्रवर्तते तदा न कश्चिदोष पूर्व पक्षी कंटिन्यूस अपरिसमाप्य समाप्य आत्मदर्शन विथट गेटिंग आत्मज्ञान विथट गेटिंग फुली आत्मज्ञान विथट स्टडी शास्त्र कंप्लीटली अर को पड़ी पुरीमले तथा देन वाट विल हैपन नाट डूइंग एज टेकिंग संन्यास स्टडी शास्त्र मॉर्निंग ईवनिंग आफ्टरनून ईवनिंग नईट आलो ओनली आत्मचित गुरु द्वारा श्रवण सन्यासाश्रम आफ्टर कमिंग टू सन्यासाश्रम यू आर् डूइंग आल अदर वर्क अदर दैन स्टडी शास्त्र टेकिंग सन्यास फर् वाट पर्पस् फर् वाट पर्पस् पीपल थिंक दट यू हेर का यू विल गेट रेस्पेक्ट पीपल यूल वर्शिप पीपल डू पाद पूजा अद सन्यास सन्यास इज नाट टू हेर्न मनी नाट टू गेट पाद पूजा नाट टू वर्शिप बै अदर्स not to get respect from others sanyasi is not supposed to uh, attend uh, vivahas or any functions sanyasi is not to enter into the worldly activities until he or she completes the complete study of vedanta without that any enters it is dangerous also one should not that's why apari samapya without studying shastra and he becomes a great swami like ah uh, nanda swami annana onnu kadaya padikave le shastra anna enna ho atma darshanam tataha without getting atma gnana because of lack of study of shastra from guru tataha then prachava manaha he will um, फॉल प्रच्छवान मीन हि विल फॉल आरूढ़पति हि विल फॉल फ्रम हिज स्पिरीचुअल लैडर कंप्लीटली सपोज हि इज ए गृहस्थ सपोज यदि पुनः यदृछयात सपोज हि नाट कमिटेड अदर पर्सन इज देर नॉन फॉर्मल कैजुअल स्टूडेंट गृहस्थाश्रमे Grihastashrami, if he is not coming to class one day or other, also okay. Attending class or not, also okay, because he is not committed, not taken any formal commitment for study. Sanyasa ashrama is only for uh, taking oath to study shastra. A grihastha is not like that. Grihastha is committed to karma yoga. If a grihastha is not attending, grihastha is not studying bhashyam. Grihastha ashrami is not. Uh, Uh, studying with commitment, uh, shastra won't say anything. Okay, for a grihastha it is difficult. Grihastha has to attend marriage function, this function, that function. He cannot be without. He cannot renounce anything because he is in grihastha ashram. Therefore, he says, "Puna ha yadrichaya. Yadrichaya means uh, voluntarily. Suppose it's not compulsory for him." प्रवर्तते देन तदा न कच्चि दोष है नो दोष शास्त्र नेवर ब्लेम हिम नेवर से यू आर रांग यू आर नॉट सपोज टू डू लाइक दिस शास्त्र नेवर से दैट्स वे गृहस्था वी नेवर कंपेल वी नेवर आस्क वेदर वी आर अटेंडिंग क्लास आर नॉट स्टडिंग आर नॉट बट सन्यासी इज नॉट लाइक दैट मेन सन्यासा वी हर टेकन मीन यू हाव टू कमिटेड very important all rules and regulations to follow but a grihastha ashram all rules are liberal <laughs> there are no rules because his ashram is different kaschit doshah na iti there is no dosha if until here pura pakshis then sureshwara acharya is telling vidhi paripraapitam भ्रूम यत आह विधि परिप्राप देर आर् अलइड साधना फर् देर् सेक विधि इज देर ऐ एम गोयिंग टू टेल यू इति ब्रूम ऐम गोयिंग टू एक्सप्लेन यत आह सिंस देर आर् सम रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन ऐम गोयिंग टू एक्सप्लेन जस्ट ऐ इंट्रड्यूस दि श्लोक एंड क्षमादि साधन पश्येत 
ಆತ್ಮನ್ಯಾತ್ಮನಂಜಸ ಅನ್ವಯ ವ್ಯತಿರೇಕಾಭ್ಯಾಂ ತ್ಯಕ್ತ್ವಾಯುಷ್ಮದೇಷತ ನೌ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಧಿ ಪರಿಪ್ರಾಪಿತ ದೇರ್ ಆನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಶ್ರೀಶ್ವರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಸ ರಿಪ್ಲೈ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬೃಹದಾರಣ್ಯಕೋಪನಿಷತ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣಂ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ರಿಫರಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಸಾಧನ ಸನ್ಯಾಸ ಆಶ್ರಮ ವಿಧಿ ಹೀಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಟ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಓಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಚತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾಧಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಾವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ